Kevin Disler. Jim right. sent Jim sent this email to me. And by the way, thank you to Jim for listening to the show. So, Kev, this is a little little complicated, but I think this is an incredibly good, poignant question. He says, we recently had a person purchase a house in their homeowner association area. Upon paying the annual fee to the treasurer, the person asked about how to pay the permit fee to have chickens. Apparently, the city nearest to Jim has that process. He says they became the the buyer who's paying the fees became indignant when he was told that the deed restrictions do not allow chickens. Uh, the person who was trying to get the chicken permit said that their real estate agent told them that the HOA isn't very strict on the chicken policy, and if they uh, knew that, they he says they wouldn't have moved there. Apparently, they are strict on the chicken policy. The HOA has sent them an enforcement letter and suggested they take the bad information up with their agent. And so Jim's wondering what type of recourse, if any, would this buyer have with their agent? And I was actually, he says, I was surprised to learn from county code enforcement officers that many issues that they deal with are because of bad agent advice or failure of the buyer to even read the covenants and deed restriction documents. So a lot to unpack there. So let's start it sounds like that the this buyer received some bad information, at least according to Jim, from his agent. Recourse on that, Kev? Well, just to kind of start with, you know, I'm not sure what area of the state he was in, but in Jefferson County, there's an ordinance where you can actually have, I believe it's four chicken, one rooster. So whether you're in the Highlands or St. Matthews, you can have four chicken and one rooster. Uh, homeowners well, well cock-a-doodle-doo cock -a -doodle -doodle of that, okay? I didn't know I, that. I, I think the order says one, one crowing, uh, as you can tell, I wasn't raised on a farm, yeah. one, one crowing him. And so anyway, I, I'm assuming the rooster is a gentleman. Uh, so even though that the local ordinance allows you to do that, homeowners associations can adopt policies that are more restrictive. Uh, a, a lot of the associations probably want to restrict livestock in people's backyards now what jim i believe was his name was upset about was the fact that sounds like he did not review um the homeowners association documentation is that correct well so jim was with the homeowner association it was a buyer that remains unnamed who did not that's okay. correct and this apparently it could have been a condo is the impression i got it might have been a condo association but maybe it's a home a home right. so okay I'm not sure the cover. chicken in the condo yes, but... <laughs> yeah so it's i'm probably, sure it's been tried yeah i think it is you a, got a, you got about it, yeah it's definitely a home it can't be a condo balcony, i don't know why I had chicken that. coop yeah i could see that in the well, bathroom well that's what it comes up with a lot of times people will move into homeowners association um governed neighborhoods and they will not take the time to either have either they themselves review or to have their attorney review of the documentation of the association. Now, they mentioned about the realtor. Yeah. And, you know, the question there comes, how definitive was this statement? Uh, was it made? Was it responded to in that? If you knew or reasonably should have known, you, you've got some E&O issues, but even at that how have you been damaged? I guess mm -hmm. would be another good question. Your inability to have fresh chickens eggs. and eggs. But yeah. all, all, well, and fraud, fraud would be is if the agent actually knew what the policy was. You point blank asked them knowing that you would not have bought this house otherwise. Yeah. And they flat out lied to you. Yeah. In which case that would be actionable. You may be able to recoup the damages if you had to resell but those type of cases are very, very difficult to prove. But uh, one of the things, the, the greatest point of this is people really need to read and review the association documents, whether it be a condo or the homeowners association. Because what this gentleman says, it con constantly comes up. It, you, you need caveat in Latin term for, you know, basically buyer beware. You have to review the documents or have a professional review them for you. And in this case, if the person would have actually done that, it would have avoided this situation. And uh, I'm assuming there was some miscommunication, although, you know, in the past, some realtors actually, in order to get a sale, will tell you what you want to hear. But I think in the most case, the profession, uh, for the most part, might just be some miscommunication. But but I, I would take it up with the, like, I think the advice was talk to your realtor first, talk to the broker yeah. uh, of the realtor and see if you could possibly work it out.
I think your last point about talking to the realtor and if you don't get satisfaction, talking to the broker who's in charge of the real estate company that the agent is working for. I think that's the go to before you think about legal action. I mean, then they can explain what the legal action in the but it, it does get time consuming. But if you're upset enough and it sounds like our guy, uh, Jim, Jim's buyer is then at least you've got a path here. And Jim, thank you again for sending us the email. If you'd like to get a question on the air, by the way, send me an email, bob at we sell louisville.com, put radio question in, in the subject line, and then in the body of the of the email, just write the question. 